Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we will be introducing organic chemistry to you. Now, if you look at organic chemistry, it basically deals with carbon chemistry. As you have, as you see on the right, we've got carbon and we've got four lines around it to say that carbon has four bonds. And usually it will be attached to other carbons or usually hydrogen and then we call them hydrocarbons. And then you also get other things that are attached to the carbon, for example, halogens, etc. But as we go along, we will get more familiar with the, the organic compounds that we will meet in this section. <clears throat> now, looking at uh, certain uh, um, definitions that we have to know, certain concepts, there's something called functional groups and there's something called the homologous series. Now, the functional group is that part of the organic molecule that determines the characteristic chemical reaction of that substance. Now, what that means, to make it a little clearer, if you look at this table that we have, this table says name of group, and we've got alkane, alkene, alkyne, haloalkane, etc. And then here it speaks about functional group. Now, as the definition mentioned, the functional group is that um, part of the organic molecule that determines the characteristic reactions of that substance. So there's something different and unique from, from each of these functional groups. If you look at this functional group, it's called the alkanes and it's only made up of carbons with single bonds and hydrogens. So here's an example, there's carbons and a single bond hydrogens around it, so it's called an alkane. Then we look at the next example, we've got carbon and here we have a double bond. And as we mentioned earlier, the carbon can only have four lines around it, that's why we see that the hydrogens are less than the alkanes where we see that we've got a double bond, so this makes it an alkene. And then we have alkynes, where we have carbon attached to another carbon, and then there is a triple bond involved. And then the, wherever we see the triple bond with the carbons, those uh, carbon, uh, um, carbon uh, chains are called alkynes. Coming further, we get haloalkanes, and then here we see that we have a halogen attachment that makes it uh, a halo alkane, something that is unique, that is different from the other functional groups. Now, coming back to the definition, we see we have the homologous series. And a homologous series is a series of compounds that have the same functional group and have the same general formula. Now, just to clarify that, we see here's a homologous series where we have CH4, which is methane, we have C2H6, which is ethane. We have C3H8, which is propane. All of them are part of the alkane series. Here we have alkanes, and here we have in this one example, for example, we've got C2H6. There's two carbons, and there's six hydrogens. So that makes it C2H6. And if we add another carbon to it, we'll be adding CH2 to it, and then we get uh, C3H8. And we add another CH2 to it, we get C4H10. And we add another CH2 to it, we get C5H12. So the homologous series is a series of compounds that have the same functional group. In this case that I did, they are all alkanes. They all have single bonds. And they have the same general formula, but they increase by CH2 in this case. They have a, the chain gets bigger and bigger. The, the, the chain gets bigger by the, uh, uh, the factor of CH2. Now, taking it further, let's, we're going to just look at the first three um, on this table. We've got alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. So, looking at alkanes, we see that alkanes have the general formula of CnH2n plus 2. Now, to clarify that, if we may put the one here for n, the number of terms, so this will be C, which is 1, H will be 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. So we get C1H4, and that will be the formula for methane. If you put a 2 here where N is, then you get C2H, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. C2H6, and that will be the general formula for ethane. And then if you continue, if you take, the, for example, the 5, if you make N, N equals to 5, we get C5H, 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. C5 H12. So here we see that is the general formula for alkanes, and they are all single bond carbons, 
So this is the homologous series related to alkanes. And alkanes are called saturated hydrocarbons, meaning that if you look at this example here on the top, all the carbons are full. There's a single bond. There's no place for more attachments to be added, hydrogen or any other attachment. So therefore, it's saturated because there is no more uh, reason for a reaction to an addition reaction to take place. If we look at the other homology series that we have, another functional group, sorry, another functional group, we have the alkenes, and here the alkenes have the double bond. And we've mentioned that uh, whenever we see the double bond, then we see that we know that they are alkenes. The general formula is CnH2n, and you can fit that in. You get CH2, C2, H4, C3, H6, etc. And they are unsaturated hydrocarbons, meaning that these carbons can react by the double bond opening up, and other uh, atoms can be attached to this chain of carbons. If you look at the alkynes, the general formula is CnH2n minus 2. And uh, again, if you do the attaching, the, the substitution, we can work out uh, what is the, whether the uh, compound is an alkyne or not. And they are also unsaturated hydrocarbons. So looking at this here now, we know what is a functional group. It's a group that has unique uh, atoms attached to it. And they have, for example, in this case, there's a uh, halogen attachment. In this case, maybe there's an OH, the hydroxyl attachment. But we focused on today's lesson mainly on the first three functional groups, where we have alkanes, where there's carbons with single bonds. We've got alkenes, where the carbons have uh, double bonds. And we've got alkynes, where carbons have triple bonds. And those are the three things that we focused on today. We spoke about the general formula, uh, where we have CnH2n plus 2 for alkanes, CnH2n for alkenes, and CnH2n minus 2 for alkynes. And we spoke about saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. And in our next lesson, we will go on further to discuss our very important table that discusses, that focuses on all the functional groups, the hydroxyl group, the carbonyl group, and we will look at how they are uh, found in examples, and we will look at naming some of the compounds that we will find in the section of naming compounds related to organic chemistry. Thanks for listening.